All right, here's how to run your washing machine and dryer, but I'm just gonna demonstrate how to hook up your washing machine to a generator so you can wash your clothes during a power outage. So the first thing is make sure you can get access to that power cord. And if you cannot, then I have a trick for that. But for now, I'm gonna show you as quick as possible how to get this. So we go up here, grab the power cord, come around here. This is the power cord for the washing machine. Make sure it's in good shape, no fraying, not exposed. Just one less thing to worry about. All right, we have our generator here. This is a portable power station. So we turn it on, turn on the AC outlet and plug it in. And now we're ready to go. And when we run it, we actually run a cycle on here. It will show us how many watts. It will show us how many watts we're consuming on that and if we have exceeded the maximum amount of watts that this can produce then it'll shut off so you don't have to worry about the power cord this is the original power cord and you don't have to worry about you know the generator power cord running too long to one of the advantages of having these portable power stations is that you don't have to run a long extension cord because this if you're not sure how many watts it your washing machine takes, you can usually find the label. And in here, it shows us that we have 120 volts times 12 amps. So what's that about like 1400, almost 1500 watts, rough head math. So what we're gonna do is get a, a real precise glimpse of how many watts that is once we start running it. So these power stations are also really precise watt meters it's like that kilowatt device that you don't have to buy you can just use this so let's run this cycle do 38 minutes okay so we're starting the cycle here this is going to spool up and now we're running so we're at 38 watts 40 watts much lower amount of watts than one would assume. 40 watts to wash a wash, to run a washing machine. Now, of course, this is contingent on you having water during an emergency. And if you want to have hot water, then you need to have gas. So this has a gas line in back. Uh, if you don't have hot water, that's not the end of the world, but it is a consideration to have the ability to wash your clothes because you can you know, get problems with your skin. You obviously can just use clothes out of your closet over, you know, not over and over again, but as they get filthy and you can't wash them, get a new pair, etc. eventually you're gonna run out. You're gonna run out of socks and underwear first probably. So having the ability, if the water is running, to do a cycle of laundry, if you need to do it, not saying it's the best use of your resources, this is how to do it, right? So to recap, we unplugged the cord from the wall over here. We routed it around to this portable power station, which is electric, so we can bring it inside. If you are using a gas generator, then of course, hopefully it's an obvious one, that has to be outside. You have to put the gas generator outside, run the extension cord inside, and make sure that extension cord is rated above the watts you saw in there. Otherwise, you could have an extension cord failure, which could result in a fire. So if you're running one of these, you can run the solar panels outside. And even in the rain, most of these new solar panels are waterproof. The EcoFlow Delta panels, they're EcoFlow panels designed to run with EcoFlow Delta Pro. Those are waterproof, so you can keep them outside in the rain. They have MC4 connectors. Those are weather shielded, usually if they're good quality and you can run a 100 foot MC4 extension cable. So you have your solar panels that stay outside all day so you don't have to bring them in and out. You don't have to wheel this thing in and out. This thing stays in your house and you can power your appliances like we're doing right now. We're at 120, 130 watts. At this rate, we could still have 21. Okay, we have a whole day now. I was saying you know, one day, two days, 24 hours at this rate of discharge, but that is how you wash your clothes during an emergency when you have water, but no 
electricity using a generator. 